Wicker with Christian Unity Connect, and we are at the CMA Dallas meeting. This is the Christian Media Association, and I'm with my friend Chad Gunnerson, and it's been a long time since we've seen each other. It has been quite a while. I think it's been a couple years. I believe the last time we saw each other was at the Gideon uh, Arts Festival when it was still in North Carolina, and it's been in Florida for a few years now, so That's, it's great to see you. Yeah, well, same here. Um, Chad, you're a, a producer, I know. I, I don't know what else you do besides that. Is that pretty much what you specialize? In? That is pretty much it, producing and producing only. So I, I stick to what I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I, I know that um, you know your filmography has really grown since the last time that I saw you. The the thing that you're working on right now, tell us about Redemption. That's um, on the Hallmark Channel. Right, the Redemption of Henry Myers uh, just aired on the Hallmark Movie Channel. I think it first aired about a month ago, but I think it's in another run right now and doing quite well. Um, it's a Western, a very traditional Western that we did um, and has done really, really well. The ratings went really well. It comes out on DVD on June 10th, I believe. Um, so definitely go out and check that out and make sure you grab the DVD. And it's still going to be running on the Hallmark Movie Channel for quite a while. So check your local listings for the redemption of Henry Myers. My shameless plug there. So Hey, that's that's quite all right. Yeah, I actually saw, I saw that... Um, before and it's a really good movie. So, um, and you've got some other projects in the works. Do you have uh, another project you want to tell us about? I've uh, got a couple of things. I would say the big thing that's going to be coming out soon is we're doing a, a kids animated series uh, called Allegories and is these little kid owls that go on these adventures. Um, and it's just really, really great. Uh, Tom Boto, the creator of it, um, uh, Keith Alcorn, who is also the creator of Jimmy Neutron and the Ant Bully and a lot of these. Just an amazing team we put together. Um, and again, it, well, there's going to be apps that are going to be coming out. The first episode is almost finished, um, and it's going to be pretty exciting. So again, it's called Allegories, um, and it's just these little kid owls um, that uh, relate nature to God. Uh, for example, the first episode is about the sun. So how is the sun like God? So we're teaching little kids, little preschoolers, things like that, just to talk about God. And when they walk outside, they see all of his glory and all the different things. And, and they're just cute as all get out. So it's pretty cool. Great. Well, I hear really good things about your work, and I just want to know how you got started um, in Christian film as a producer. Uh, pretty good question. Um, it, it's probably hard to pinpoint one thing. I've been in the industry for a while. I was an actor for a long time, um, but never really saw it as a career. Um, and then just through some various events, uh, I was a biology major in college. Um, and through a lot of events, the next thing I know, I had started a small company, and we started doing music videos for local bands, uh, corporate things, small commercials for local mom and pop shops, um, and that slowly just merged into feature films. Did my first feature in 2005 called Midnight Clear, um, and it's just really expanded from there and done about a dozen films so far. And I would say I may do two or three other features this year, uh, including the Allegories uh, TV series. I find myself being brought into reality TV as well, so there's some things in the works there. Um, and just a lot of cool things God's doing. So it's been exciting, been a ride, and uh, excited to see what God's got next. Now, do you work primarily in uh, faith-based type movies, or, or do you kind of spread out a little bit? Um, I would say everything has a redemptive message. Um, some things that I've done and will do will be very overtly Christian, um, and I think there's a market for that. Um, but there are some things that I'm doing as well that, uh, you know, I like to say Jesus taught two different ways. He sat around the fire at night with his disciples, and he taught them about the kingdom. And I think there is a space for those types of films. But when, when Jesus taught to the masses, he taught in parables. So there are some films that are a little bit more allegorical um, that uh, probably teach a lesson that way. Um, so I would have films in both ways. Regardless, there's going to be some sort of redemptive message that leads people back to the Bible, leads people back to Christ in some way or another. Um, so I just, you know, I wait on God and he connects me with amazing people and it's been a great, great thing and uh, he just blesses me in all that I do. It's, it's really cool. Now, if somebody wants to know more about your work, your movies, uh, do you have a website? I do. It is GundersonEntertainment.com, and Gunderson is spelled E-N, so G-U-N-D-E-R-S-E-N, -E Entertainment. Just one big long word, GundersonEntertainment.com. Um, there's a website there. It's got trailers and things for all the movies that I have done, a little bit of previews of things that are coming up. I have a Facebook page as well, as everybody does, Gunderson Entertainment. Um, and it's pretty easy just to do a search out there nowadays and, you know, find plenty about people. So... Um, lots of movies out there. Definitely lots of stuff to check out. Netflix and it's on TV. 
buy the DVD, download it, do whatever. So lots of cool stuff. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for being with us and good to see you again. Okay. You as well. Thank you so All much. All right. Sure. Thanks.